welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we'll we'll do the color grading so that it mixes our scene totally mixes with the rest of the image so in this you can clearly see that this area is a little cooler and this one is warmer so it doesn't appear that it is actually there it you, anyone can tell that it has been later on added but we need to create a lighting and drama so that it appears realistic so let's do it we will start by placing the levels okay select the red color from this drop down menu and we'll take the mid down mid mid tone and bring it towards the red because since it is a time of sunset or sunrise everything should have a warmer light a warmer color a warmer hue so this can be created with the help of levels or curves or there are so many different ways but the easiest and simple way is to use the levels select the red from here this is the mid tone this is the shadow and this one is the highlights all right so we'll, if we take it way to this side it turns out very ugly but we don't want that so we'll bring it only over here you can click this little icon to see before and after before and after all right so it is almost done now we need to create some darkness on this part so that it looks amazing so create another level adjustment this time take the shadow area to this side we have selected rgb layer rgb this side not this time rgb this time not the red one bring back the mid tone to its original side you can take it to that level maybe this one right but we we want this uh, layer uh, this adjustment layer to affect only this area not the entire image so we'll do that by just pressing ctrl i it will remove the effect from our image now we'll take the now it will act as a layer mask we'll take the softest brush all right opacity 100 or anything uh, lower the opacity maybe around 27 and start painting select the white color and start painting over the area where we want that layers effect to be present all right so this way let's darken out this area also okay i think it is done that's enough all right oh, we'll uh in the next lecture we'll create the vignette using some third party plugin or uh, we can do that within the photoshop also see you in the next lecture thank you so much